Now let us understand equivalence relation with an example. This example is found in your book. We will use it to understand equivalence relation better. Let T be the set of triangles in a plane and let R be defined as T1, T2 the T1 is congruent to T2. Here T1 and T2 refer to any two triangle in the plane. So a plane could contain lot of triangles like this, 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 this. So it can contain n number of triangles because no number is specified here. Let us call these triangles as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and J. Now let us see uh, whether this satisfies the condition for equivalence relation. What is the condition for equivalence relation? It should be reflexive, it should be symmetric. and it should be transitive. That is all the three conditions should be satisfied. First let us do a reflexive check. If I take two triangles that both are one and the same that is T1 comma T1 it is obvious that T1 is congruent to T1 because every triangle is congruent to itself. For instance, if I take triangle A and if I compare triangle A with triangle A itself, obviously triangle A is congruent to triangle A. So thus it is reflexive. Now let us see whether it is symmetric. In symmetric we need to assume that the relation stands good for T1 comma T2 and we need to prove that the relation R stands good for T2 comma T1 as well. So by our assumption T1 is congruent to T2. If this is the case then definitely T2 is congruent to T1 as well and hence R is symmetric as well. The next check is on transitive. If we assume T1 and T2 are congruent or it satisfies the relation R and simultaneously T2 and T3 also satisfies relation R, then we need to prove T1 and T3 also satisfies relation R. Now if T1 and T2 satisfies relation R, then T1 is congruent to T2 and in this case T2 is congruent to T3. Then definitely T1 is congruent to T3 because T1 is congruent to T2 which in turn is congruent to T3. Thus it is transitive as well. Hence the relation R is equivalence.